I think that artificial intelligence has been doing a lot of good in the world. For example, back, um, I would say one of the earliest examples of artificial intelligence happened in the 70s, where they were able to take brain scans of someone and be able to identify cancer just by sending it through a computer. So originally, this was something that was only done by doctor practitioners. And you know some doctors were better at it than others. If you are in a very remote place where there aren't a lot of experts, and it's really up to one person to figure out, you know, is this a tumor? Or is it something else? Um, that could be a little scarier versus if you live in another place. So artificial intelligence was great because it could make this baseline computer system that was as good as the best doctors that everyone could use. And so that's where I think the benefit of artificial intelligence comes in. Um, if you think about um, self-driving cars, there are a lot of people who currently cannot drive cars and cannot get around. Um, when certain people get to an you know older age, they lose a lot of independence because they're no longer able to drive their own car. Well, if a robot can help drive the car through them, then they can retain that independence for longer. They can um, really do the things that they want to do without having to ask a lot of others. And that's actually quite important for the way that they think about themselves and the way that they continue to impact society. In the work that I do, we use artificial intelligence to really balance out the way that students learn. So in the United States, at least, um, preschool isn't mandatory. Um, kindergarten is when a lot of students come to school, but preschool um, is an opportunity for students to begin learning their letters, to begin developing the vocabulary. The issue is at five years old, people come in with huge differences in terms of what they know. And so at five years old, everyone's starting at the same place, but they can be in very different places depending on tons of things. You know, their parents, how much money they make, where they live. And so the question is, can we really help make this first experience in school um, be more equitable so that everyone is starting from the same place and everyone has the tools that they need. So I think artificial intelligence could be huge and even just making education really fair. Um, there are some things that we've seen in the news that have said that, you know, artificial intelligence can be bad or that it can be scary. Uh, I guess my reaction to that is that there are always people behind the system. So Whenever you see an example of artificial intelligence doing something bad, there's always a group of people who was in control of the system and who built the system and possibly made a mistake. So the solution really is to teach more people, to have more people involved in crafting those solutions um, so that when they go out into the real world, you know, we thought of more things and that they're able to have the good positive impact rather than some of the negative ones.